Hello, I've got another sparkling wine for you today, uh, another cava, which is actually the uh, same producer as the last cava that I tasted, uh, Castillo de Mont Blanc. This is the Brut, Ro Brut Rosé cava, as you can see, I think. I I'm sorry, it's Spanish, so it's Rosat, not Rosé. This is a delicious wine. I already had some, as you can see. We enjoyed some on New Year's Eve. Great nose. Beautiful color. It's got a little bit of a little bit of rose and cranberry to it. Maybe some strawberries too. Hmm. Excellent. I like this a lot. Uh, as I always say, because I wouldn't sell it if I didn't like it. And this has got some great acid. Berry flavors carry through. Strawberries and, and cranberries flip carry through into the taste. I could see this again, uh, being a Spanish cava, I would definitely have some jamón with this, some tapas. Mm. This is 85% uh, tropat and 15% Pinot Noir, uh, made in the traditional uh, method. Uh, so it uh, has two, two fermentations first uh, in the tanks and then in the bottles, which is where it gets its bubbles from. Really, really light and fun. Can't can't argue with something as good as this. Cava again is always a great price point. Uh, some nice yeastiness too. There, you know, a little bit of that bread bread sense. Enjoy. Definitely get yourself some of this. If you're one of my wine bros accounts, you know the drill. If you're out there drinking, try some cava. Cava's delicious. Uh, definitely worth it without doubt. So if you want some sparkling wine for any day of the week, enjoy.